For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. In today's video, I have uh, a Madden 25 preview. I've been playing the beta now for a couple of days, and I have some thoughts, some good and some bad. I'm hoping that the bad gets fixed before the game comes out. Uh, but I'm going to give you guys, for the people that have not had a chance to play the beta that didn't get a code, I'm going to give you guys uh, some updates on what to expect in the game. Uh, before I do, as always, if you guys are enjoying videos like this, preview videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, going to get right into the video now the beta itself i'm going to come off right off the top here and say that it really feels uh not complete um, i feel like that might be on purpose i don't know if that's something that ea is doing purposely to try to hide a lot of things uh from the new game uh things like rookies especially um, they don't have, you know, their likeness in the game. They don't have proper ratings. I went through the Eagles rookies, and I think they said their first-round pick, Quinion Mitchell, was 51 years old. Uh, we might have seen the pictures floating around of Cooper DeGene, who is obviously what the one white cornerback in the entire NFL, and the uh, the player profile for him is like a, a bald black guy. So it's like that stuff feels like – I don't think that's them just being – um, that negligent. I think that's just purposeful. They want to keep things like rookie ratings so that they can release those closer to release because it creates a little bit of excitement. Uh, but one of the things that I really had an issue with is uh, if you go into an online game in the beta, they don't even have updated rosters. You're playing with last year's rosters. And when I hopped on to download the Madden Test Realm, uh, the Madden 24 game that I have, obviously, from last year, got like an update out of nowhere, which is super weird uh, because I think that these two games are connected. I think that basically when you go on to uh, whatever that update was, I feel like it's connecting the Madden 24 rosters to the Madden 25 test realm. So once again, I feel like that's purposeful. I don't know why they would do that because you can use, like you can go into the creation center and you can find, um, you know, updated rosters and stuff like that, uh, but you can't actually use them in the game. So it's just like super weird. So like a lot of stuff like like that just makes the game feel like it's really not complete and my original before i started playing the game i really felt like um you know this game was going to be uh like basically madden 24.2 or something like that i really thought that it was going to be like just madden 24 kind of reskinned and a roster update it's really not it's very unique they obviously uh changed a lot i think what if my my honest opinion uh, to get some of the features that they ported over from NCAA, or I keep calling it NCAA because the old games are called NCAA, but to get the um, you know a lot of the new features that were designed in College Football 25, uh, I feel like they they basically are using this engine, but based off of like the College 20 College Football 25 game, I feel like they're kind of porting that over so they could port over a lot of the features like the switch stick, which was obviously uh, one of the newer uh, things that they added. Um, you know, stuff like that. I feel like a lot of, you know, hiding covered shells and stuff like that. A lot of stuff that um, they're trying to bring over into the to, into Madden that was originally designed for college football. I feel like the way that they did that is they're basically using like the same engine. I think a lot of people thought the college football was going to be a lot like Madden. They were concerned like that. I think it's the exact opposite now. I feel like, and I haven't played college football 25 yet, so I really can't say for sure, but it feels like Madden 25 is going to be copy and paste from college football 25 but that's just a theory i really don't know if that's true it's just the game feels that different it really does feel um you know it, it definitely does feel different it doesn't feel like you know they i know they said that uh college football 25 is going to feel faster and you can see that sometimes in some of the gameplay clips that are out there uh, i really didn't get that feeling uh one of my biggest issues when it comes to playing uh madden 25 as far as the gameplay is concerned is the actual, um, the, just the running itself feels like like you're running on uh, on ice. Like the character models themselves just feel really um, slippery. And they really toned down the ball carry moves. Like Madden 24 felt really tight as far as that's concerned. And this just feels really like elusive. Like when you're running with it just in an open field uh, environment, it just feels like your guy just doesn't even feel like he's running straight. It feels like he's running in water or something like that. It's really hard to explain, but it's it's definitely unique. It's definitely different than last year. Uh, another thing that's really a concern of mine is the actual ball carry moves are really toned down, which I guess is fine. I mean, if you, you get to a point in Madden 24 where the ball carry moves were a little bit overpowered, and if you had a little bit of stick work, you really could easily evade computer defenders 
and uh, user defenders really weren't too well prepared when it comes to the ability to stop, um, you know, to make certain tackles and stuff like that. But in Madden 24, it feels almost new. I'm sorry, 25. It feels almost noobish. Like it feels like there's so many auto-generated broken tackles. Like people, I know a lot of people complained about animations. Where in Madden 25, it just feels like you're getting auto-broken tackles all the time. And I feel like that's by design to a certain extent to uh, basically, I don't want to, like I said, noobish isn't really the word. It just feels like they really want to appeal to the um, the more casual player. And for people like myself and for people like a lot of diehards that play Madden every year, that's not what we really want. We don't want to appeal to the casual player. We want it to be more, um, you know, we, we, we want to earn those broken tackles. And if somebody beats us with a broken tackle, we want them to earn it too. You know what I mean? But in this, it feels a lot more like, um, it's just being given to you a lot. There's so many plays when you're playing, whether it's online or whether you're playing against a computer, where it's just like, just it's just instant broken tackles, and it doesn't really make any sense. Maybe it's the angle. I mean, I, I played it enough that it really wasn't a huge concern as I continue going forward, but I could see for people that don't play the game as much that it might be a concern. It might be an issue where they're just having a hard time making tackles, and that's not fun. You know, I, mean, I know that the offense in the NFL really took over and the league's really uh, geared towards offense, and I really think that the games are trying to match that because uh, offense is fun, but at the end of the day, for like older school Madden players that grew up in eras before they changed all the rules to benefit the offense, we still like defense. And I think a lot of people, if, if you look at my most viewed videos pretty much every year, best defense and stuff like that usually outweighs best offense as far as like the numbers that get put up so the majority of people that play this game and watch my channel they are looking for good all or good defenses they want good defenses because that's still something that a lot of people take pride in a lot of people really want good defenses and this really feels like that might be behind now there is something that i noticed as far as defense that really seemed to get increased uh, along with broken tackles was also knockouts catch knockouts seemed to be way up it didn't seem like you really needed to have, um, you know, it felt like everybody had uh, had some sort of KO on where they're knocking out balls constantly, uh, which I did like because I felt like in Madden 24, it was just a little bit too easy to aggro and, and to basically moss people and stuff like that. Felt a little bit hard to do that now because knockouts felt more consistent, felt a little bit easier to get. So that's probably the new boomstick technology that they're talking about, the new boom tech or whatever that is, which also just kind of felt like fancy wording. Um, a lot of stuff, it really just feels like they're, you know, they're just, uh, just, just saying a lot of stuff that really doesn't make a lot of sense to make it sound like the new features uh, before I actually got to play the game. But yeah, like I said, you can really lay a lot of hit sticks on people and get a lot of knockouts, which is something that I noticed. So that's something that definitely goes to the defense. Uh, the new switch stick thing at first is a little bit confusing because you can still be setting up your defense. And the second your opponent hikes the ball, you're just trying to move your, your linebacker back. And all of a sudden you're on the safety because of the because of the new switch stick thing. So that's something that might take a little bit of time to get used to. Um, it can be a little bit of an issue because, you know, one time I was actually, I was just trying to set up my defense and I got stuck on a corner, which obviously I don't want to guard a receiver all game. And I didn't even know I was on the corner. And I just basically gave up just like a wide open streak touchdown because of the switch stick technology. So that's going to be something that I think a lot of people are going to have uh, a little bit of an adjustment to. As much as this game feels different, and it really does. A lot of people, I thought it was just, you know, uh, lip service saying this game feels different, but it really does feel different. Things like that are definitely going to stand out when you first pick up this game. If you haven't had a chance to play this game, is things like the switch stick, uh, which is something I'm actually most excited for. I'm hoping to get more time with that and get that down a little bit more because that's another thing. And once again, if you get good with the switch stick, it's going to improve your entire defense based off the fact that you're no longer stuck on just a linebacker or you're just stuck on a defensive player or whatever. If you get stuck on a defensive tackle, that was huge. That was something that I said in a previous video that had to be in this game. And it definitely feels like one of the bigger um, improvements. I don't think it's enough, you know, all, all, all with the with all the, the wording that they put out for what's new in the game. I don't think that one gets enough attention because I really think that's going to be the biggest game changer and a generational type thing like when they first added the hit stick. Um, one of the things that I noticed on the offensive side, which is kind of a bummer, uh, I really didn't see. I was expecting every quarterback to have uh, Hot Rod Master, and maybe they still will. But one of the things, I mean, first of all, they didn't have that. It was still back to just the two, uh, you know, the two options when it came to adjustments for players. But one of the things that disappointed me too is they got rid of the wheel route 
uh, adjustment when it came to um, to running backs, which was kind of overpowered last year, if we're being honest. If you put a running back on a wheel route, you pretty much beat man every single time, and it was a really helpful adjustment when it came to a lot of zone coverages. A lot of people were just running, uh, you know, wheels is probably one of the most abused hot route adjustments, so maybe that's why they took it out. Now, there were two hot route adjustments that felt like absolute game changers. The new custom stem, which was something that once again was revealed for College Football 25, that's going to be huge for people that like to set their zone drops, going against people that like to set their zone drops. If you know your opponent's constantly setting their zone drops, you can just extend it or shorten it to beat those, to beat those areas. So that's going to be huge for offense once again. Another adjustment, like I said, before, I don't know if I said it previously, but they took away uh, the wheel route from running backs, which was really overpowered. Powered, something that you could do, um, you know, beat a lot of different coverages, simply, especially man coverage, simply putting your running backs on wheel routes. Well, that's gone, but they added the ability to put your outside receivers and tight end on post routes and corner routes, which is going to be huge. Post routes and corner routes are probably the two most important routes when it comes to one-play touchdowns. So the fact that you can custom stem and you could also use post and corner routes just all the way across the field is going to be really overpowered. You're going to be able to, I know me personally, I can't wait to uh, to set up some plays for you guys. It's going to be super easy considering that the majority of um, you know the routes that are necessary for big plays are post and corner routes, and now they're in your hot route options for pretty much every receiver at the line of scrimmage, tight end and receiver. So that's something that's going to really open up the passing game. But once again, like I said, this entire game feels like it's really um, geared more towards helping out the offense uh, over the defense, which is not, you know, it's it's not a huge deal, but it's definitely, um, you know, I think it's definitely going to be an offensive game. The switch stick, though, could be the neutralizer for really good defensive players. I think that's going to really help out to make you, an, you know, a, a good defensive player across the entire field. Uh, but ultimately, I mean, I'm excited for this game. The more that I played this, this game, um, the more that I see its potential. Um, but overall, the offense, I mean, number one, one, like I said, one of my biggest issues is they really nerfed ball carrier moves to an extent. Uh, I'm sure that, I mean, one of the things, like I said, when it felt like the, the running, that the, when you're catching the ball, the ball carrier's, uh, running with the ball in space. It felt like it was better just to move the left stick and not use the right stick at all when it came to juke moves or spin moves. It just felt like you were better off just using the left stick alone, which was kind of weird. Like I was making more people miss just by moving that. And like I said, that goes back to the the, like the feeling like I was saying, like it felt like the players are running on ice. It felt like you can get more uh, creative and more um, you know ways to make people miss just with the directional stick and not actually using it with anything or not combined with anything. So I thought that was really unique. Uh, but once again, I mean, it's just different. I mean, all these things, uh, it didn't take me very long to start acclimating to it. And I'm sure once the game comes out and I'm playing it every day and you guys will probably be the same, the more you play it, the more you'll get used to these things. Uh, and it'll get to a point where it just really feels a lot easier. It just gets, you know, because like I said, it's different. You're just going to take a little time to get used to it. I just feel like it's definitely going to be a, a bit of a, a learning curve for people. Um, for people that were playing the previous years. Although I don't think it'll be as much of a learning curve for people that really haven't played the game uh, previous years. I really feel like they're trying to match this to College Football 25. I really feel like they know that that's game, that game's going to be bigger, especially the first year at the gate. And they want people to play both games. They want them to be similar enough that people will pick up one game and then they'll pick up the next game and they'll continue on uh, you know, just playing football across the board. Uh, which I don't know if that's necessarily the best strategy because I know uh, you know, college football fans and Madden fans aren't necessarily the same animal. There's a lot of people, I mean I'm getting views from both, but there's a lot of people that really just seem to have an attitude towards Madden players, like Madden players ruin the experience compared to college football players, which are just, they just seem to have a, like like a, a more of an idea of like a purism. I'm not really sure what to say. It's almost like if I look at my comment section, it, college football fans to an extent feel kind of toxic whenever I compare the two games. Uh, it's just it's just a weird dynamic. I don't know if college football fans are Madden players. That's basically my point. But if you are, if you're one of those people that are, or you disagree with that, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. I have uh, videos popping up about college football and Madden 25 previews that I've done previously. So if you guys want to see more, just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Make sure out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.